Here's a story you're going to like. The world's tallest donkey right here in North Texas. We got them only here on the Texas Daily. You're not going to find this stuff on the other channels. And Don Wall joins us now with more. Hey, Don. Hey, Jeff. This is just in from our Waxahachie Bureau Chief Colleen Horning. When right. Phil and Kara Yellett bought a couple of donkeys on Craigslist, they got more than they bargained for. According to the American Donkey and Mule Society, the Yellets may be the proud owners <laughs> of the world's tallest donkey. Yeah. Here we go, ask me, Pete. What's such a thing? That Meet Romulus and his brother Remus, two giant donkeys almost by Kara and Phil Yellett. Romulus doesn't know he might be the world's tallest donkey. Come on, baby. He's afraid to come out of the barn. <laughs> Yay, good boy. You made it. You lived. When people started pulling their cars off the side of the road to look at Romulus, the Yellett suspected they might have something special. Now, how tall are you? I am 6'1". Okay. Wearing boots. And Romulus? He is uh, 17 hands, which is 5 foot 8 inches tall at the withers. So that's different because he's measured, a donkey's measured and a horse is measured from the hoof up to the highest point of their shoulders. You're really going for this Guinness World Record here. Yeah, yeah. At this point, it's just a matter of waiting for paperwork. Um, the veterinarian came out. She did three separate measurements and came out 17 hands, 17 hands, 17 hands each time. A hand is four inches. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the tallest donkey is 15 and three hands, which is seven inches shorter than Romulus. I have the world's biggest ass, and I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Phil recorded Romulus braying. I don't, that, I don't need to use it as Here's his brother, <laughs> even recorded. Kara teaches horseback riding at the 4C Stables in Ovilla, where Romulus has become a tourist attraction. I'd be more than happy to take corporate sponsorships. You know, anybody who wants to have the biggest jackass in the world uh, endorse their product. You got it. There he is. <laughs> It's cold and Kara wraps the boys in blankets and leads them off to the paddock. Oh, first we gotta have a roll. Where Remus promptly rolls in the mud, soon to be followed by his brother. What one donkey does, the other donkey has to do. I gave him a bath last night, so the first thing they have to do is roll in the mud. And do you know the difference between a donkey and a mule? Uh -uh. Well, a mule is a sterile hybrid between a male donkey and a female horse. There you go. Did she actually say, Don, that she wants to be known for having Don't the biggest stop. ass? Ah, ah, ah. She biggest did say that. Yes. Women do yeah. not want to be That's known for that. That's what she said in answer. the story. Okay. Now, it's I'm her, wondering. To quote. To yes. quote, yes, yes, verbatim. I'm wondering if the Democratic National Convention That's gonna have it. Yeah. knows about this. Talk about a sponsorship. Huh? Job opportunity for that donkey. <laughs> 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 you guys beat to death. I don't know. All right. You know, the, the answer to the question at the table is, yes. yes, they do have a purpose. They are great watchdogs. Ah, they, but they, they, they do a much better job of keeping wolves and coyotes and, uh, and predators away from your herd than really? any other animal. How so? Trouble is, if you have a pet dog, it, the donkey will kick the daylights out of it, too. Oh, right. they, they are kickers, huh? They uh, bought the donkeys in order to protect their goats, but they've only got two goats. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's a case of overkill. That's, that's personal, you know, one-on-one -on -one protection. Each goat has Guido over yeah. his head there. Uh, <laughs> right. Wow. Hee-haw. Hee-haw. All right. Well said. Thanks, Don, for that story.